go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 50, and this is war number five. And we're going up against an alliance called Helix. Okay. So let's see, who did they ban? Whew! Good. Um, CGR. Hercules and Hulkling. Interesting. Uh, Domino, Kushala, Global. And the Band Immunes are Iceman and Bishop. All right. Let's see what we got going on for my path. Okay. So, Kate Bishop isn't a really difficult defender. Especially if I don't um, parry her. However, I can get an evade charge, I think, off of her if I bring Corvus. All right. And then we've got Rintra. So neither one of these benefit from the node. So I just need to bring in a good counter for either of them. Um. I have a couple of uh, options for Rintra, but let's see. Okay, so we've got uh, Omega Sentinel. Not a big deal if I bring Corvus. And we've got uh, Ant-Man. Again, not a big deal if I bring Corvus and uh, Proxima. Now, the thing is about this we have a war planner who is going to plan out the um he's going to assign the fights for for everything but then we do a review and we'll see who he decides to uh have me go up against but I think uh, Corvus can do the Kate Bishop, Omega Sentinel, and the uh, future Ant-Man. Definitely will bring uh, Proxima to get that true strike. And then it's a uh, Rintra. And while Corvus is probably not the best to do a uh, Rintra, I'm pretty sure we can get someone to uh, counter him and whatever mini um, he decides to assign me to. So that's going to have to wait. We'll see who he assigns me. And then, you know, it might be somebody that can do both those fights. Um, but we'll see. All right. Let's get to the fighting. Okay. So we're going in with Corvus, Proxima, and Human Torch, who was chosen for me uh, despite my reservations about using him, which I did voice. So this war is my worst war so far. Up till now, I have not died a single time in war. That changes in this war. Don't blink because you might miss it. All right? It, it, it was ugly. But anyway, we're going in here. Um, we've got the Proxima Synergy. Uh, Corvus has not at this point uh, started to be banned. But the more people see what he can do, he's going to start getting banned. But that's fine. Because you ban him, you can't ban 
maybe some of the other clarity uh, or true strike options. So, you know. All right, so here we go. Now, I parried on purpose so that she could evade and I could do this. All right, now I got true strike. Now I don't gotta worry about evading and um, auto blocking. So, in a previous war, I tried doing that and I got caught and I said, no, this time I'm gonna put on an invulnerability boost. Then I'm gonna parry her. I know she's gonna evade and start smacking me up, but that's why I have the invulnerability boost. And that went perfectly. That was exactly the way that I had planned it, all right? All right, now we've got Human Torch. I'm not using the flame on because we're gonna need it later. And I don't use Human Torch that much. And I actually did take him up recently to rank four. Now, as you can see, he is still the mystic killer, okay? Um, Rintra is annoying, so I just take it kind of slow, try to punish his um, specials with a heavy, like this, and that gets rid of those charges, okay? And then here, I think I, let me see. I mean, I hate when they get the power, when he gets that power buff, all right? And then I'm just like, you know what? Let's get rid of the charge. Let's try to, see, he did it again. But I'm trying to get him to fire off the special so I don't have to worry about it, okay? I didn't want him to have one bar of power and he kept getting the power gain. But as you can see here, I mean, I could have continued doing that like I was doing and never fire my special three. But I wanted to fire the special three so that I could do some more damage and get this fight done. All right, you see the uh, uh, Nova Flames, and then it's gone. <laughs> Just like that, no more Nova Flames. I tell you, it, it's, he's good, but not really my style, so, I don't tend to use him, but our war planner was like, oh, Human Torch. And I mentioned this in the last um, video, but even now I have not started using that um, Xavier bot in line messenger. So uh, he still doesn't have the full picture of my roster. And so there might have been better options, but he didn't see them. And I just wasn't gonna go through and try to, you know, plan behind him basically. And I did mention, you know, bringing Proxima instead of, I forget who he wanted me to bring. I think like Mole Man or something like that. But I was like, no, let's bring Proxima and then um, we can rock with Corvus. And he started to do that until they started to ban Corbin. But as you can see, no problem. Got uh, Omega Sentinel down. And see, a lot of the tech champions have some armor up abilities. So Corvus is really nasty against them. All right, you can see here, I'm starting to glance. He's got some uh, armor ups. All right, here we go. I'm doing armor breaks, but you'll notice he still has an armor up. He will get those passes. All right, you see the evade failed, so my true strike, I don't have to worry about that in addition to all the glancing. And then, did you blink? Did you miss it? Let me explain what happened. So, everything was going great, right? And I saw that he only had like 1% life left. So I hit him. It glanced. It was my last hit of the combo because I thought I was going to finish him. And I wasn't ready for him to then fire the special right in my face. Look at that. One hit. 
was all it took. And he took me from all that health to nothing. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that fun? Just like that, my deathless season ended. Not that I was thinking I was going to remain deathless, but still, it was nice to be able to, you know, say, hey, I'm not dying. I'm not dying, you know. But it is what it is. It happens. If you're curious, go back and look at it. I posted that video up in the line, and um, uh, one of the officers was just like, you just got unlucky. Because even glancing, remember, glancing means you're not going to get the crits. But it still does damage. And apparently it didn't do enough damage to take him out at 1%, even non-crit. All right. So I'm looking at this here, and we're going to be fighting Sasquatch. Now, I know how to fight Sasquatch. Okay. No problem. I looked over the um, nodes and everything. For this fight, we're actually going to use his pre-fight ability. Now, the trick or the, the danger is if for any reason I die, I don't have the pre-fight anymore. So I go in and I'm like, okay, I got my plan. Okay, wait a minute. Why didn't he, he get stunned? Okay, what's going on here? Why, am I, why, why is my parry not working? What, what, what's, what's this? Okay, that parry. Oh, but then he resisted me. I'm sitting here now like, what in the world is going on here? I'm like, this is ridiculous. I couldn't parry at first. And I thought, wait a minute. Did I just miss the fact that, you know, he was, uh, you know, not going to be able to be parried or something? And then I did parry him. And I'm like, okay. But because of what happened earlier, I was a little slow. And then I tried to do a heavy attack, which is what I had planned to do. And then he resisted and countered me. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I have to get a heavy off. I have to in order to do some, some good damage. Okay? And look at this. He's just, just wrecking me. And remember, my Human Torch is only rank 4. So I'm taking lots of damage here. Okay. All right. And then, oh, look at that. Wasn't that nice? So what I was trying to do there, and I got the spacing wrong. That was all me. I tried to get far enough so that the special, I could counter it with a heavy and finally start doing some real good damage. And he caught me. And I said, I'm done. I am done. I, I um, threw in the towel. I, I, I sent a message and I said, look, I, I'll go back in if you want me to, but tell me what you want me to do. And he said, okay, were you using Human Torch? I said, yeah. And I already used the Flame On ability. He said, yeah, that fight without your Flame On ability sucks. So he was like, don't even worry about it. So he came in and went ahead, uh, our backup, Went ahead and did that fight and uh, some of his other fights as well. All right. So not a great war for me. Two deaths in one war. I, I guess I was trying to make up for not having died at all in the previous wars. All right. But anyway, we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. Now, let me tell y'all something. Do you see the battle group clears? One of our battle groups did not get the boss down. So I know we win as a team, we lose as a team, but when I had those deaths, I was like, I let everybody down, okay? And if we lose, it's my fault. And so I'm looking here and I look at the points and I'm like, okay, you know, I was like, wait, wait, that's a lot of a point difference. And at tier two at that, 
And then I look down and I see that we didn't even have full exploration. And then I look and I said, wait a minute. We didn't get a boss down. That is absolutely unacceptable. There is no way we should not get the boss down. Even if you have to use level one uh, of the revise for one loyalty and just keep hammering and you don't have any attack bonus left, you get that boss down. That is a lot of points to lose at tier two, especially. So I ain't, I ain't claiming this one. I'm not claiming this one. I was ready to claim it, but I'm not claiming this one. Okay. That out of my control had nothing to do with me. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh.